Many plants have colorful flowers. The flowers contain the male and female parts of the plant. They are brightly colored to attract bees and other insects. Bees visit flowers to look for food. They're searching for a sweet liquid called nectar and pollen. As the bees climb into flowers looking for nectar, the fine hairs on their bodies become covered with pollen. Pollen is produced by the male parts of the flower. It's like a fine dust or powder. When the bee moves to another flower, the pollen from its body rubs onto the female part of the flower. Then a male cell from the pollen joins with a female cell to produce a seed. At the plant center, they have three different ways of taking pollen from the male to the female parts of plants to produce seeds. They do not use bees because they would sting. They use flies instead. Look at the flies visiting flowers to feed on nectar. As they do this, they are carrying pollen from the male to the female parts of the plant. In nature, this is done by insects, or sometimes by the wind blowing the pollen. At the plant center, they also transfer pollen by hand. Jane chooses a flower bud and carefully plucks away parts of it until only the female part is left. She then takes an open flower and transfers pollen from the male parts onto the female parts. You can see the yellow pollen grains. The female part then grows and swells as the seeds develop inside it. It eventually forms a long seed case in which there are many tiny seeds like these. Can you see what David is using to transfer the pollen on these geranium plants? He takes a small amount of pollen on the end of his paintbrush and transfers it from the male to the female parts of the flower. Once the pollen has been transferred, seeds grow and develop. The flower's job is now finished and it dies away. This is the geranium seed case. Inside each of these is a seed. Can you remember what seeds need to help them grow into plants? As the flower dies, it makes lots of seeds to help them grow. Here's what the seeds need. Warmth, light, and food. Water from rain. Then the seeds will grow into plants again. Add a drop of rain as the days go by Reach for the sun Reach for the sky A plant is a seed factory. It grows and produces a flower. Insects and the wind transfer pollen from the male to the female parts of the plant to produce seeds. The seeds then fall to the ground where they find food. With water and light and warmth, they grow into new plants.
If you look around in summer and autumn, you can see the parts of the plants where seeds grow and develop.